commentating, illustrating, description, giving, adjective experts, analyzing, summarizing, musical myth seekers, people of the you It's like the craziest thing I ever heard in my life. I heard that shit. I was like, what the fuck? And then I tracked him down. It took a long time for it to... For before people I to, heard it? If, it? if you heard it on the radio, it came out nine months before that. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? You. Yes. And if you bought a hip-hop record, they were two completely different experiences. I just wanted to make records that sounded like what it sounded like at the club, which was, in some ways, more about the DJ. And in fact, the other records that were out, the Sugar Hill records, sounded like R&B records. They were all people who made R&B records. So they made an R&B record and then put a guy rapping on it and thought that was a rap record. But really, that wasn't a hip-hop record. I need a beat. I remember bringing I Need a Beat to Russell and playing it for him in his office. And I said, well, what should we do with this? There were no good options. And I thought maybe we could do it ourselves as good as people who didn't care or didn't do the work and we, we had passion for it. If we'd sold enough 12 inches to make another 12 inch, that was the whole goal. There were no expectations of anything. And the next thing you know, it was an LL Cool J entire fucking album. And you put my radio in Crush Groove the movie and he blew up. I think him mm. writing a song called Radio was your idea. I don't know about that. I feel like it was, because I feel like I was you... High, I don't remember. No, but I, <laughs> I, I, what I, I feel like you said was, if you write a song talking about the radio, they're more likely to play it. See, that's the kind of bad input I gave. When it I was talk good about input. Key. It was a great song. No, but it's kind of... Comp it's like, you know, if you it write a song... Worked yeah. out, and it, and it was true. Happened. It was true. He would write endlessly pages and pages of rhymes on any topic you gave him. Just really dedicated, hard Running working. Running D would look at him like he's a machine. Yeah. Because, you know, and they always had the rivalry coming up, but it was he would look at him like, wow, you, you have raised the bar. You keep raising the fucking bar. I think LL might be the only person who ever wrote any words for Run DMC. 